Hi everyone, I just want to say a few words about patience, divine timing, God's timing in relationship to recovery. So when you go into recovery, you might want what somebody has in 45 years of sobriety and you want it now. You want it in your two years, you want it, you know, basically as quickly as possible and you want to fast track to what they have, but you need to unfortunately accept and learn to cultivate patience that took time you know and of course there are intentional things you can do to work to mold your character i'm not saying that but at a certain point if you're doing all the right things it really is just a timing thing which means you have to get comfortable with waiting the amount of time it takes to break down your body when you're in active addiction and subdue all these emotional things that then have to come up and be processed out and it's a complex intricate process that cannot be rushed and the more you try to rush it the more that you cultivate resistance and at least in my opinion you kind of can work to work against yourself and almost compromise your sobriety because it's putting on a certain form of pressure on yourself to be somewhere where you're not and where it doesn't make sense to be and that can lead to being kind of dishonest with yourself because you can't accept where you are because you're so fixated on being somewhere else and so yeah i think you know being where you are is integral to growing into the person you want to be because if what's that saying you know the sword is forged in the fire and again that's not even to say that your life has to be up in flames or that things have to be hot but what i'm trying to say is is that you know character is built by going through those arduous moments you know especially in early sobriety like to get to certain states of being you know you have to learn to be patient with yourself because growth takes time you know you don't a farmer doesn't plant a seed and expect it to grow next week you know it takes time and of course there are things you can do you can add to the fertilizer you can make the environment as good as it can be but to some degree there are a factors that are completely out of your control you can't really control the weather can you prepare for certain aspects of the weather yeah but you know you can't change if it's gonna rain eight days straight and maybe the plants are gonna get too much water and then the other thing is is yeah just the process of growth takes time what's that one um old story where the, the person really wanted to help the plants grow so they went and tried to pull them up a little bit and they of course all end up dying so you know to rush the process is only going to compromise your well-being where you are so yeah this is something that i'm learning right now where i'm at in my sobriety is you know i really feel like i'm doing a lot of the right things if not all of the right things that i can do on the day to day and you know i'm just kind of in this waiting of things falling into place with in terms of my career in terms of um, my health, you know, regenerating after like years of berating my body, you know, with alcohol, the other drugs I abused, with the behaviors that I abused addictively, just, you know, berating my body for years and years. And that's really the only thing I knew how to do for years. And I've, I just had my two years sobriety, June 26th. And I have to be patient that, okay, yes, I'm showing up for myself, I'm doing all the right things, but it still took me years to destroy. And so, yes, I'm entering now into this build back phase, but I have to be patient because your cells aren't restored overnight. Your body doesn't bounce back from years of abuse. <laughs> um, overnight and even there's things that i've had to be brutally honest with myself that are very hard to accept like even just with relationships and stuff like that like which i have another video on if you want to go see it it should be my late last video before this one 
is just that my relationship with myself was so complicated. My, my, my being was imbued with so much pain that I just had to manage. And really what I was doing was escaping from my, my own flesh vessel for so many years that coming back to it, it's foreign. And I'm still getting used to that. I'm still developing a relationship with myself. I've never really had sober relationships. You know, a lot of the friendships that I had growing up, like uh, some of them, of course, were true friends, like had some element of like a true friendship. But when you're in active addiction and you're not even able to connect or have a relationship with yourself, you know, how are you supposed to be that one side of the, the, the pole to connect with the other, to connect with that friend or to connect with that ro romantic partner. And so that's been a humbling thing for me and, and being patient with myself as I allow myself to heal my relationship with myself and to, like I said, I'm in a build back phase, you know, I'm building a lot of relationships that, that were just a bit either tarnished by my drinking or tarnished by early sobriety when I just, my emotional stability was completely messed up. I said things to friends that I just am not proud of, trying to, to mend these, these things. And so, yeah, patience, because the character is forged in the fire. Growth takes time, whether we like it or not. As long as you're doing all the right things, and like I said, being honest with yourself about where you're at, then you you can get to where you're going it's just be patient keep the faith that you can get there but be where you are and marinate in the lessons that are in your 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 now vicinity because you never step foot in the same river twice you're never going to be this version of you this day here again so find the beauty in being what you are having what you have in the moment and you know the next moment will come that is meant for you in the time that is meant for you because also too if you get things before you are ready for them you're gonna screw it up you're especially addict with your character defects what have you you know if you haven't sort of got that internal world that relationship with yourself in order and you know the perfect relationship shows up or, or, or you try to force it or contrive it or whatever, it, you're not going to be ready for it. Or the career opportunity, you know, and your health still, re, you're still restoring your health from those years of beating up your body. And you wake up and you get these dream opportunities, but you're not able to sustain them because you're, you're still recovering from making that transi transition into recovery. And as I talked about before, you know, a lot of pain that we've been numbing, subduing that dethaw phase of just having to process and purge out all these emotions, all this hurt. It has physical repercussions. You don't get off scot-free for beating up your body for years. And so patience, sitting in the waiting, being okay with it. I hope this makes sense. Uh, if anyone in recovery has any advice or any little wisdoms about their experience with patience and allowing things to fall into place too instead of having to control um, that's a big one too and yeah i'm gonna leave it at that for today and if you like this video thumbs up thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day